Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a lollipop holder with you. This could be for any occasion, but of course Valentine's coming up so I thought this would be the per perfect time to share this little treat holder. And I love these. I've made several different sizes. If you're a newsletter subscriber of mine, I did a mini version of this at Christmas time. So if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, once a month I put out an exclusive video for my newsletter subscribers and I have released um, I released the mailbox that I know a lot of people um, have commented that, that they're making Valentine mailboxes with that which is super cute and um, these are the little ones that I made so you can see the difference and they're so adorable they're so little but they're super adorable and um, if you'd like me to release that to the public, um, I'm, I'll think about doing that because I really like to keep it to my newsletter subscribers. But I know a lot of people, I've had, already had somebody ask me for the smaller version. And um, I directed her to another video I have as a lollipop holder. They're not this type, but it will carry the little ones because the Dollar Tree does carry some little little itty bitty charms pops and they'd be really cute for that and I'll link that in the video the other one because it's really it's really cute too so this is what I'm sharing today and I'm doing this in an unconventional way I usually use your envelope punch board for this but I'm going to show you how to use a punch to make the same thing so let's get started all right I'm going to do this a little different I'm going to use flirty flamingo because I am using the From My Heart Designer Series paper, which it's been my favorite this Valentine season. I love this paper. I love every bit of this paper, both sides. And it's um, the From My Heart. And so it has both Flirty Flamingo and the Real Red in it. And that one's the Real Red. And then we are going to use the Heartfelt. Um, bundle for this. We're actually not going to use the punches, but we're just going to use the stamp set. And then I'm using the Happy Valentine's Day from Forever Lovely. Now this stamp came out last year, so it is in our annual catalog. All right, so that I think covers just about everything that we're using here. So let's go ahead and get scoring this. And I have my old scoring tool here, but I'm going to go ahead and use it because my other one is in a different area I can't reach. <laughs> All right, so we are going to score this. Um, the, oh, this piece I didn't think I told you is four and three quarters by six and a half. And then we're going to score it on the six and a half side. We're going to score first and we're going to score it at one half. Sorry for my voice. I started sneezing just before this and I couldn't quit sneezing. And then we're going to score it at two at three and a half and at five and then we're going to turn it and on the four and three quarter inch side we're going to score it at three quarters at one and a quarter one and three quarters and three and one quarter and boy, I miss my other one. I got so used to the other trimmer. I use this for when I use, I do my um, templates and stuff. When I I create it, I just use that one. But oh my goodness, I really miss the other one. It scores and it's so much nicer. All right, so we're cutting off this half inch on the bottom, and this part is going to be our glue tab. But this is a very important part. You want to score this. You want to sharpen all your score marks before you punch. So we're going to sharpen these all. And we're doing this part Mountain Valley style. And then we're going to do these. And then we are going to cut, this is our bottom, the bottom of the box here. So we're cutting up each one of these. And then I'm going to take away a little for 
from this one and from this one. Every other one so that these tabs are the ones that fold inside your box. Alright, so now what I'm using for this is the Perennial Flower Punch. Now, this works so good with it, so if you have this one, I would use this one. And because what you do here is you're going to line, and I'm lining this point right here on here with the center point of this, the center, center one right here. So I'm just going to put it in about halfway, and then I know that all of my little holes are going to all line up. And then I'm going to fold that. Again, I'm going to do it about halfway and line that point with the center line here. And then we're going to fold the next one. And we're going to line that one up. Punch. And if you have the envelope punch board, you can definitely use it for this. I just thought I would share another way to to uh, do it if you don't have it. And then we're going to do this very last one right here. And it works so well and I don't have to get the envelope punch board out and it just worked out. Alright, so then we are going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down. Let's see, which way did I do that? Okay, this is going to be, okay, we need to glue it this way. Oh, I forgot to do that end there, but it's not too late. Once you, I'm going to let this dry for a second, and then we'll punch that other part. I forgot to do the very end of that one. All right, <clears throat> so what we're going to do here now is I'm going to go ahead, and you're going to need to mat this, and the pieces I cut for the bottom part of this, I'm not going to do the bottom yet because I need to punch this area. So you can fold it there and then slide this in, line it up again, and punch it. And there you have it. So if you miss one, just go back before you glue the bottom part and then you can fix that. So let's go ahead and, and put the rest together since we got that done. Just make sure that when you do this, you have all of your things well scored because it's important when you put the ribbon on so that you can tighten this down. All right, so we're going to mat this. These bottom pieces that we're matting are 1 and 3 eighths by 1 and 3 eighths. So we're going to do that. And I did mat the top. You don't have to mat this little top part, but I thought it was cute. And I definitely like all four sides, four, four sides matted. And then the pieces for the top are three eighths by one and three eighths. So that's for this part. Okay, so now I'm looking for the front. My front is here because this is a side going back. I'm taking our double stitched real red ribbon. This is in our annual catalog, not our annual, this one's in our um, mini catalog, the occasions catalog. And we are going to tie a bow. And oh, we need to put our lollipop in there. So I'm going to stick that one in there and it fits just right. And then you're going to scrunch this down pretty tight and it'll keep your lollipop in there and I may not have enough ribbon here to get another yeah I think I'm fine I 
actually like a little bit more tail on this so let me undo that and give myself a little bit more ribbon here And then make sure you, you tighten it down. And this ties really nicely. I really like this ribbon. You know how I struggle. If you follow me, you know I struggle with ribbon bow tying here. Alright, I like the red with the flirty flamingo it's really cute and then we're going to just take a piece of whisper white and I'm going to stamp this with flirty flamingo you can do it real red or flirty flamingo whatever you like and then we're going to do our sentiment the happy Valentine's Day and because it's photopolymer I could move this and kind of make it like a ribbon and then I'm going to use some tuxedo black for that and we're going to just hand cut this one out and we're going to put that one right there and by the magic of video I went ahead and cut one out so you didn't have to watch me sit and fussy cut but I am going to cut this one out and I'm just going to follow the, the line that I, I created for that. And then we're going to do it back this way. The smaller scissors work better for this part. And then I'm just going to cut these a little ends a little bit shorter. And then we're going to just go ahead and we're going to banner those. I'm going to get my little scissors right here for that. so we got it bannered and I just like that it gave it a little bit more interest it wasn't just a straight thing I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting so we are going to pop up the heart remove our backings here don't want to waste that one and then we're going to put that one on there and then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this one the little banner thing and then we're going to stick that on there and that's it aren't these cute I really really love these little ones I think these that would be really adorable for a classroom and here's the real red one what's what one's your favorite let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, this is my January hostess code. You can shop right from my blog. And I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.